Hello class, my name is Frank Diaz and my presentation is on BPF, BPM groups and WIPRO uh, from the case study. This presentation will discuss a few different items. Uh, first of all, we will identify what a BPM group is, who uses a BPM group, and what it is that BPM groups actually do. We will also uh, discuss WePro uh, and some of their business process uh, practices. We will compare BPM group activities with the activities at WePro and then we will also discuss BPM deficiencies at WePro. What is a BPM group? <coughs> a business process management group is a team of individuals that manages a businesses, processes, improvements, and redesign initiatives. It is a group at the core of a company's business process change and business process redesign. So there are several different organizations that will use a BPM group. Uh, these are probably common attributes for different organizations. First is uh, organizations focused on maintaining a business process architecture. Also organizations with a uh, continual changing business process needs. Also organizations that continually redesign and improve business process functions. And finally, organizations that are required to or choose to achieve or remain compliant with industry standards uh, set forth by like Sarbanes-Oxley or the ISO 9000 standards. So what does a BPM group actually do? So BPM group uh, creates and maintains the enterprise business process architecture. So they maintain the BPM repository. Among other activities, they identify, prioritize, and scope business process change projects and manage change resources. They also help create and manage process performance systems by developing metrics to measure the output of the uh, business process architecture. They also help create and support the process manager system which involves the hiring and training of new managers. They also recruit, train and manage business process change professionals and they manage risk and compliance reporting and documentation maintenance. So a little bit about WePro. Right in the case study you would have found all of this information. WePro Technologies is a global software services provider. Among some of their activities and some of their services, they supply applications integration, development and maintenance services, also client server, data warehousing, and e-commerce solutions. They are considered an industry leader, and they were the uh, among the first to achieve a level 5 in CMM scale, and among the first to apply the uh, Six Sigma methodology software development environment. Some of the activities at WePro that can uh, be linked to the BPM group model. Uh, WePro formed a core team of 10 individuals to begin the process change which is basically assembling a business process management group. They uh, research different methodologies before deciding on lean, which is in relation to creating and maintaining business process architecture. They also train quality managers on the lean methodology, which is in relation to creating and supporting the process manager system. Also established a goal of a 10% increase in pre-specified metrics, which is in relation to creating a process performance system. Some of their activities that did not coincide with BPM group activities. Process architecture was selected from a list of methodologies rather than being devised by the business process management group themselves. They also failed to prioritize projects and identify project scope. There was also poor management of project resources, which led to multiple projects being run concurrently 
with uh, different methodologies running simultaneously. There was also poor risk management as they were, uh, they basically rolled it out in stages, uh, starting with a few projects and then uh, increasing their projects. And there was uh, no mention of compliance documentation. So, how could WePro have improved their rollout of the lead methodology using a business process management group? And also, in your opinion, is a business process management group actually necessary? If so, is there any specific industries or in which industries that would mostly benefit from a business process management group? And if not, why are they not necessary? This this concludes my presentation. I want to thank you guys for taking the time to look at it. And I want to thank everybody in advance who decides to comment on it or to answer the discussion questions. Thank you very much.